Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.3, number 65, and here's where we were given a bunch of traits, and we were asked to write the equation of the polynomial. So the first thing I see is I've got a degree 4, so I'm going to need four linear factors. Maybe some of them will be squared, maybe some of them won't, but I need at least four, not four, I need exactly four, and here they come, right? So I see I have a multiplicity of 2 at 1 half, and then I have multiplicities of 1 at 6 and negative 2. So if you just look at the multiplicity side, right, we've got 2 plus 1 plus another one. There's my 4. And then it's also giving me this other piece of information about my y-intercept. So if I want to start to build my polynomial, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this, this first root of x equaling 1 half. Now that will go with the factor of 2x minus 1. You might also have said, hey, couldn't it go with x minus 1 half? And it could, it absolutely could, but usually what we do in math is we, we don't want fractions in our factors, so that's why I'm writing 2x minus 1. And if you're kind of like, well, how did you get 2x minus 1? Imagine if, and I'm just going to write this to the side and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase it after, right? If I wanted to get the y-intercept or the x-intercepts of this and I set it equal to 0, right, I'd have to set x minus 2 to 0 and 2x minus 1 to 0. And if we solved each of these, this would give me x equaling 2, and this would give me x equaling 1 half. So these are inextricably linked, right? x equals 1 half corresponds to a factor of 2x minus 1, and that's why I'm writing it there. Okay, so with that, let me erase all this, and let's keep moving on this problem. So as I move along, if I've got a factor, or excuse me, a 0 at 6, I'm going to have a factor of x minus 6. And if I have a factor, excuse me, a 0 at x minus 2, I'm going to have a factor of x plus 2. Now let's play in their multiplicities. The power on this, or the exponent on this, would be 2, because the multiplicity is 2. The exponent on this would be 1, and the exponent on this would be 1. So I've applied their multiplicities, and that's where you see this function starting. Now I don't know what the stretch factor was of this polynomial, so I'm just going to write that as a. And then we're going to use the y-intercept to help us figure out that stretch factor. So when I say the y-intercept, let me highlight it. Now I'm going over to 0, 18. Keep in mind, this is an x-coordinate. This is a y-coordinate. So let's plug that in and see what happens. So I'm going to put an 18 here. I'm going to put a 0 here, a 0 here, and a 0 here. And then that's going to allow us to solve for our a value. So that's what you see me doing. I'm plugging in 0. Right? I'm setting the function equal to 18, and if we take a look at that first factor, right, 2 times 0 minus 1 gets us to just, well, technically that should have been a negative 1. I think I actually have a little bit of a typo I can fix, but this would have been negative 1, and then I would have squared, the, oh, never mind, now I can, I can do my own work. Hold up, I don't have a typo, JK. Let me do a side, a side number here. So if I was going to finish this out, all right, let me, let me erase my little highlighting and show you where I went. I kind of skipped a step, and now I'm seeing it. So 2 times 0 minus 1 is negative 1. I've got that squared. 0 minus 6 is negative 6, and 0 plus 2 is 2. And if I write this out, this would be a, and then we would have 1, because negative 1 squared is 1, times negative 6 times 2. And that's where I'm coming in here. So that's where this positive 1 is coming from, the fact that I squared the negative one. So when I solve that a little bit more, we know negative 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, so I have 18 equaling negative 12a. When I divide both, excuse me, divide both sides by negative 12, I'm going to get a equaling negative 3 halves, and there's my stretch factor. So that is the equation of my polynomial. It is fourth degree. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, right? I've got roots at 1 half, 6 and negative 2, and then 0, 18 would be the y-intercept, so I'm all set there. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.